hey, I want to go ahead and say before uh, this podcast got started that uh, I was playing around with new software and it added a weird audio echo. I apologize for that. Um, next time I'll probably just go ahead and make sure to do a secondary audio edit. Uh, so that way, if it does do an echo, I can replace it with something that doesn't have an echo. I don't know what created it, but it's there. Now, on to the next topic. Onward! Uh, I was asked, what side would I end up on? Team Captain America versus Team Iron Man. Ooh, I didn't change the image. I need to do that. Bam. So, Team Iron Man versus Team Captain America. And this is something, like, when this movie first came out, I was like, oh yeah, I'm 100% behind Team Captain America. I know the comic book story. Team Cap all the way. And if we are talking the comic book story, yes, 100% Team Cap. But the MCU's version of Civil War was a bit more nuanced than the uh, actual comic book arc. And that's where I get a little bit... Uh, not so sure, because that's what I'm covering. I mean, that's a picture of the MCU there. Uh, MCU's Civil War was kind of an idea about regulation. And the idea was the Avengers should be regulated. And how I feel about that is, again, it's, it's nuanced. Um... Do I trust the government to regulate the Avengers? No. No, I won't trust the government to regulate the Avengers. So in that aspect, I 100% agree with Cap. However, um, do I trust Iron Man to run around unregulated? Do, do create Ultron just because he thought it'd be uh, cool and it would mean he won't have to work anymore. Um, no. So I end up on this weird thing where it's like, I want someone like Captain America to go out and do what he ne thinks needs to be done because I trust him. Um, I don't trust Iron Man to do what he thinks needs to be done because he he'll just go create fucking AI that'll try to kill the world. So it's it's where I end up on in the MCU is kind of way more nuanced. So... If I were to break it down all the way, I do feel like Captain America's arguments have more validity. But, like I said, this is all nuance. This is specifically in, uh, in if we're talking about the Avengers. If, if we were to translate this to, should we regulate something like a corporation? Yeah, I would trust the government more than a corporation. As little as I trust the government, the corporations are just fucking, have just overpowered the government and are just sucking like the American people dry at this moment so uh, if we were to take it to more real world settings it's definitely uh, for like it, if it was, if this were government regulation and team, team cap were against it and Iron Man were for it I'm 100% team Iron Man um, so I'm largely in favor of government regulations but when we break it down to the Avengers especially Captain America and Iron Man it's far less clear um, so which side am I on? Like I said, if it, if it's Captain America, I want Captain America. If Captain America thinks something needs done, I'm going to rely on his judgment to go and do something. If Iron Man thinks something needs done, I am far less, like, willing to go along with it. And... I guess that's a mixed bag, because we've seen Iron Man makes a lot of mistakes, but mostly, he does get the bad guy. It just, Ultron was a really big fuck up on his part. So, it's nuanced. Um, I think at the end of the day, if I have to pick a team, if I have to, have to pick a team, it has to be Team Cap. Um, but like I said, that's strictly in retrospect of the Avengers. So, what I would say is maybe even require that the Avengers maybe coordinate a bit more. Um, you know, maybe have the Avengers, Avengers more in a democratic fashion internally, like maybe control someone like Tony's uh, wild impulses more than necessarily... Um,
yeah, this is a deep dive right now. I'm, I'm going way more into this. Um, Captain America Civil War is an awesome movie. You should watch it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if we go into the politics of it, this isn't something of a clear answer. I think there's arguments on both sides. I think that's part of why I really like uh, the movie, because neither character is what I would consider wrong. They both have good reasons for what they're doing. Um, and if you look at their backstory, Captain America just weren't, went through the Winter Soldier story, so he's looking at this like, God, government agencies can be overrun and corrupted. Uh, we can't just trust them implicitly. And Iron Man is looking at from the from what happened in Age of Ultron, just like, uh, like guys, I can make big mistakes. Maybe we should, you know, pull the brakes on this thing. You know, people died because I fucked up, and I'm not cool with that. And so they both have strong arguments. But I definitely have to go more with Team Cap in respect to the Avengers. I guess I don't have much more to say on that one. I want to go ahead and add some audio credits at the end here. Uh, the theme music you're hearing at the beginning and end of this podcast was uh, written and performed by George Johnson, a very good friend of mine. And my current Patreons are uh, Fel Martins, David Lara, and Lindsay Painkhurst. If you'd like to become a patron, go ahead and follow the link down below. Anything you can provide would be incredibly helpful to this channel. We're barely limping by right now. Uh, I'd love to make this my full-time job, but I'm miles away from that right now. So any help you could provide, just a dollar a month would be amazing. You know you want to. All your friends are doing it.